Hi, I'm Borkon. Glad to have you here. Welcome back. And we have found the perfect spot for the squid farm. And yeah, I, don't, I know, I know, I know. It doesn't look like much. But trust me, it is the perfect spot. I have measured this. I have actually measured this in creative. And uh, yeah. It's exactly the right size for what I want to, to build, and uh, it's all river, and there isn't actually much that we will need to clear. There is a bunch of river here that will have to dry out, but the funny thing I have noticed, and I don't know if it's just a thing in my world, or this is how it works in general, but rivers in savannas are often very dry. Yes, I have already built my portal here. Not always, but they are relatively shallow, and many spots, like here for example, they just disappear. This is, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's still river, but... There isn't much work that needs to be done to dry it out, and that's awesome, because like I've mentioned before, I am very lazy. But yeah, the spot for the squid farm <laughs> is going to be here, and they are already giving me the ink sacks, which is great. Thank you, Mr. Squid, and we will be farming more of you. And uh, yeah, we need to dig it out, dry it out. But first, I'm actually going to jump into creative and show you how I found this, because it's actually a pretty neat method. So here I am in uh, a creative copy of the world, or this is just a backup. I've done some measuring there, never mind that, and I have hidden what I have built under here, because why spoil it now? And yeah, we're in the same spot, uh, creative backup of the world, and we need to do some testing. So I have the carpet mode installed, and I really like it, because it's a very good tool for debugging things. And first thing we need to do is carpet fill limit and just set it to a very big number, a million. That allows you to fill blocks, like, like with the fill command, but also with some carpet commands. It allows you to fill more than the default limit, which is, I think, 32,768. So we need to be, be able to fill more blocks. And now we're going to run a script. Script fill we're going to be filling and we are at 2000 minus 2600 so i want to affect a relatively big area around us and let's say 200 blocks away at level 100 that's probably good enough so we do this we need to repeat this don't ask why it doesn't matter the first number doesn't actually matter what we do there, and then minus two, two, did I do a stupid? No, I didn't do a stupid. 100 and 800, and we will ask it for the biome of the block we are looking at. If it's river, then we fill, because fill actually asks for an expression it only fills certain blocks where this is true. And let's say blue concrete. Why not? Oh, sorry. Uh, that's correct. This takes a little while. And now, at the level 100, it has filled in all the blocks with blue concrete. And so I did this in, in quite a few areas, just to find the best spot, and I found my spot here. Six, seven, eight blocks, and then we do one, uh, this is two, sorry, three, four, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All of this is river, and we need an 8 by 21 area. I'm pretty sure it would be actually bad to make this bigger, but I have thought of a trick to actually make this even more efficient, and since I'm gonna have the AFK spot around, like, in the mountain, but around this area, 
I could probably also make this part into a squid farm if I ever need a higher efficiency. I have already tested this and it generates about 12,000 ink sacks per hour, so well, we can take the world and paint it black. Let's go back to the real world and get to building. We'll be doing a lot of digging here, so I think it's a good idea to have a beacon here. I'm not using my beacon often enough, I don't know why, I just haven't gotten into the habit of doing that. Uh, Haste, haste, oh, hello, there we go. Okay, this is the start of the hole. It needs to be, I think, 17 blocks deeper. We're at 57, yeah, we need to go down to 40 about, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna make it wider. I will have to remove lots of mountain there anyway. I'm gonna make it wider because that will give me more space to work and I'm gonna do something about the walls in here later anyway. So might as well just remove a few more layers. It definitely won't hurt and might help. At least might help making my life a little bit easier. Alright, uh, we have dug a little bit here but I'm stopping now because if you look at my first slot in my hotbar, there is a bit of granite there and something is missing. Yeah, uh, that happened. Which is it now? This was this number three that I broke, maybe even number f I don't even remember now, but uh, yeah. We need to get a new pickaxe because I'm not watching my durability even though oh no I don't have the resource pack that shows items being destroyed enabled I have played around with that but I disabled that so I there were other things in that resource pack that kind of made things look a little bit weird and ugly maybe I need that and maybe I need some warning siren screaming at me you are breaking your tools stoop stop this is, oh, okay, silk touch. Ah, yes, it's from my reserve. This is fortune, this is also fortune. I should probably not be using my reserves, or should I? Ah, decisions, decisions, decisions. No, this, this is emergency reserve. This is stupidity reserve. And in case of stupidity, go back to base and enchant the proper pickaxe. I'm not gonna use my emergency gear in a non-emergency. Because this is not an emergency, this is just stupid. And fortunately, I have a few pickaxes from my earlier androids. I'm just gonna see what I can do with all three of them. And... We're gonna dig into our ancient debris reserves. Oh, that should be fine. I need a pickaxe to break. Ah, can I? This will be stupid if shulker boxes get destroyed. Okay, they don't get destroyed if you punch them. That's good to know. And I should have then done that with my precious box with everything that is kind of hard to replace. Oh well, it went fine. Everything is under control. Alright, we have two silk touch. I haven't done the third one because I kind of run out of experience enchanting books and stuff. But since we're here, might as well do another thing that is necessary. That is to pick up some obsidian. Running low, to, low on shulk shells again. I, I have no idea how much I need. I'm gonna take all of it and if it's not enough then uh, well then we're in trouble. Then I need to farm obsidian somehow. Will that be the unexpected farm of today? That could be an interesting project because it requires a chunk loader. Something that I have never done and I would love to try it. That's all the obsidian I have. I, I hope it's enough. Something is definitely not right here. 
because this is supposed to be a river. This is not supposed to be a savanna, and I have a savanna here. Let's take this block, 1981597. Now I'm gonna go to creative and see if it's the same. It is a backup of my world, but I'm not sure if, I'm pretty sure actually that the chunks have not generated. Did something change in chunk generation? I have no idea how that works, so I'm just saying words now. 1981597 It's river here. Minus 1981597 it's river here and it's savanna on my server. Oh boy. Oh, this was a setback. A big one. Because, yeah, everything along here, along the 597, is a river. One nine eight one five nine seven. It is savanna, and there is more savanna here. There's river, savanna, river, savanna, river. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! It's a good thing I didn't start placing all the obsidian, but I just placed the the corner blocks or whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, I found this. That's not good. Okay, how do we? M okay, we need to mark out the river there. Maybe this can be salvaged. Oh boy, oh boy, we are in very, very trouble. So this row was broken. Actually, I don't need to mark anything. I'm just going to go along this, and this is all river. Okay. Now, so this is savanna plateau. But that is river. And now this is river. Wait, no, it's not. What? What? Does this... Th Does... This changed with how deep you are? One, two, three, four blocks of savanna, and now river. So wait, one savanna, two, three, four, river. One, two, three, and now it's river. Uh, oh, this just got way more complicated. So yeah, I, I have played around a while ago with trying to do my <laughs> my own uh, mapping application, and I had some success of reading the the, the Minecraft region files. Though the files where all the chunks and and stuff are are stored, and I understand now. I always thought that. The biome is the same regardless of Y level, but obviously it isn't. And it is possible in the files that the biome can change depending on where you are, it, like in, in height, in Y level. And I guess, oh, well, this is much more painful to, to map out then. Because now we need to look at three dimensions of, of biome information, not just two. I have never seen this before. This is the first time I see that biomes are changing depending on how deep you are underground. Now, does this hurt us much? That's the question. Because actually, there is so much river in this direction. 
if I just move it over. But if I move it over in this direction, I might end up too close to that portal. Like I, I, there is a good reason why I'm here, and and the reason is that I calculated carefully where that portal could be compared to this, and ah, it all just got much more complicated. But wait, okay. Do we get any savanna on this one? So I guess the savanna is just like I, I will probably have to verify this by going all the way up, and I'm too lazy to do that. And actually, you know what? It has to be the same in my creative world or, or in the back backup of the world as here, and the rates of the farm were pretty amazing anyway. So yeah, okay, fine. We're gonna live with some of the blocks not being river. It's it shouldn't matter as far as I understand how squid farms work, and I kind of think I understand a little bit of it at least. It should it doesn't seem too complicated. Whoops. And now just build this up. You know that thing I always complain about that I have no intuition for uh, how much materials to bring to a build yeah two shulker boxes and this much and i i have no words i really have to learn this okay most of the easy blocks are placed now uh, all that remains is the water in here i need to light the portals and uh, close this side, because this also needs to be closed so that we can keep the water in. But we need to light the portals before the water. And maybe I should explain how this whole thing is supposed to work. So, the reason why we have the glass here is, if I recall correctly, and I knew this last time I built an ink farm, I kind of forgot it now, but I think if there is free high water, then salmon can spawn. Because, you know, salmon is bigger than squids. Y yeah, I, I don't understand it either. But it's it's great, because squid can spawn in this these small spaces, and salmon can't, and other fish can't. So, we're only getting squid here. There will be... Some of them will spawn in such a way that they will fly through the portal immediately, and some of them will have to move around a little bit uh, before they go through the portal. So I, I will make a tunnel around here, I think a little bit higher than this hole happens to be, and uh, there will be an AFK spot, because I need to AFK at least 24 blocks away from the nearest water, because squid do not spawn within 24 blocks of the player. But I can't be more than... And I don't want to lie here, because I haven't checked this for a while. But I can't be more than 32 blocks from uh, the water. So that's why we only have 8 layers of water. Or columns, or whatever you want to call it. There is water here, water here, water here, water here, water here. So six, and then two obsidian in between. So this block here will be 32 blocks away from the AFK spot. Ish. It's not exact. But that allows the squid to move around, get into the portals, and get teleported to the nether. Where they will... I don't know if I'm going to do any sophisticated killing mechanism. Probably it will be just that I, I let them suffocate. Because they are not taking up my mob cap. Because mob caps are for each dimension. So they will be out of the overworld. So more new squid can spawn. So it can take quite a while for them to, to suffocate. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I'll, I'll see what I do. I'll probably won't do anything. And they will just suffocate on top of hoppers. And give me the ink sacks. And then eventually I'll go to the never, pick up the ink sacks, and we'll have all the black dye we ever need. So, let's light this portal. This should work. It didn't work. I, uh, that's not good. That's absolutely 
catastrophically bad. It was absolutely not supposed to link to this portal. But it links back here, which is an advantage. Oh boy, do I need to go to the nether and start building there? Yes, maybe, maybe that will work. Okay, I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna go to the nether normally, find the spot and build the portal there. I'm pretty sure it needs to be exactly here. At this height, maybe even one block higher. Uh, but no, this is exactly the height I had. Wait, this is 51. Oh, it might need to be one block higher. I'm gonna... No, 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 no. No improvisation. Already had one bad linkage. One block higher. Because it needs to be 52 at the bottom. Not 51. If, if you tested something and it works, don't change it. Uh, uh, mm, right, this is not how nether portals work. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just don't know. Boy. Okay. Hello, portal. Okay, we are here now, with where we should be, so I go back in. Please, please, please link correctly. It did link correctly. Today on Spontaneous Experiments, we're checking if portals are bright enough to melt ice, and it doesn't seem so, because I built up the ice in all these chambers here, and I don't think a single one of them has melted yet. So, well, now we know. Or maybe I have misunderstood something, but... What? Ouch. Nope, not a single melting. Oh well, it's not that hard to break them. And that was the last one! They all looked right when I looked at them, when I was climbing there, yeah! Hopefully they're all right. Now we need to do some more counting. Our favorite. One, two, three, nine, ten, eleven. Go up here a bit. Actually, why next to the portals when we don't have to? And we are looking for... Looking at block 54. That's our tunnel. And a bit in here. Oh, I will need lights because, hello, this is not creative, but let's do some counting first. So this is block number one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-three, and twenty-four. This is the AFK block. But I definitely, definitely, definitely have to light it up now. Now for some uh, excitement, because we're going to go through the portal and see what has happened. Uh, because I've already seen ink sacks here, uh, mm, so things might... Um, okay... This invasion of zombified piglins is not a good 
Uh oh, we need a mechanism to deal with them. Definitely, no, like even before I, I I built the looting system here, I can already see that this is a massive problem. We're just gonna set up a temporary loot pickup system here because I'm not exactly sure if if oh, this many zombified piglins are are spawning here. I guess I will need to get rid of them, and that means that I will need item filters, unfortunately. I was hoping I could avoid that, but if... Yeah, if we have that many of them, I don't think I can avoid it. I guess it's a simple matter of putting down hoppers like this. Okay, three double chests. Maybe that's enough for I don't know how long. I still don't have it memorized how much a double chest can fit. I should probably memorize that. That's very useful information to have in situations like this and many other situations. Let's get my camera account and see what's going on in there. Because I'm very curious how the squid behave. And here we are on the spectator account, looking at an avalanche of squid through the portal. No, of course we don't, because I forgot to dry out the rivers. All this bobcap for squid is taken up by squid in other rivers. Of course, like I... what was I thinking? The, 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 do things in the right order. Okay, yeah, well, we need to dry out the rivers, of course. Now, this looks heh, much, much better, uh, but we have a very big problem with zombified piglins coming through. And bats! I guess... can we deal with bats somehow? Uh, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, the zombified piglins... Mm, I have no idea how to deal with them, actually. I will need to do some experiments, but I'm pretty sure I can't burn them, so... Uh, this could be a problem. And yes, I know that in uh, the video I linked from Logical Geek Boy, he puts boats with cats into the portal to push out the squid. Doesn't seem necessary to me. It s seems to work fine. They just push each other out. Maybe there is some good reason for it, but he didn't really explain it, and uh, I see no reason. This works fine. Let's see how much... This has been only active for maybe five minutes, not more. Whoa! Whoa! Awesome! I love this thing already, and I have only been using it properly for five minutes. Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, I think I forgot something here. Uh, maybe I need to make it wide. I don't need to change anything. This is already working great. I just need to... Mm, shulker box loaders, I guess, and do something about the zombified piglins, although I really, really have no idea what I could do about them. I don't know. Uh, maybe I will just ignore the problem and hope it goes away. The river actually looks pretty neat without the water. It looks like it dried up. 
then this place kind of looks ugly. We'll have to decorate it because that is that looks horrible. And dry river, dry river. I, I removed all the walls I used for drying it out for with sponges. Looks pretty neat. But that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. And see you next time where we will definitely build something to make this structure behind me prettier. Anyway, bye!